Hi all. Uh, today we are gonna do a uh, video on on uh, how do we webOS doctor for these two palm devices um, or webOS devices. This is basically the Palm Pixie Plus, and this is the Palm Pre. So one common point between these two phones is that both of them are running webOS 1.x, meaning they they are not webOS 2. They're running one webOS 1. So they share the same way of bypassing activation for this. So what we are going to do now today is to have webOS Doctor run for both of this item as well as the uh, bypass activation process for these two phones. So both of them are actually having the same process. So that's how it goes. So let's get on to it. Okay, before we get started okay before we get started so we will need to boot the phone into uh, recovery mode so normally how do we do that is you press the volume up button and press the power button and just hold it and you should see a big USB symbol Palm Pre itself in order to boot to recovery um, they need a bit more step it's not as direct as the other one so what you need to do first of all we'll need you will need to pull up the uh, back cover you just need to press in the button here and just slide through the fingernails and stuff to just open it up so once open you need to take out the battery and now you need to insert the USB cable so what you need to do is to open up this thing here and pull the cover up the side okay uh, this is this seems pretty hard but just pull it out so once you have that out then you need to insert the USB cable make sure this is con connected to, uh, to your power source or to the uh, computer so you can actually do it so what you need to do is just to plug that in and you should see the battery sign so once you have the battery sign what you can do now is to hold the volume up button which is this one and you need to slot in your battery so let's just do it this way uh, you press your volume up button and you slot in your battery so make sure that the slot in uh, let, let, let's just try that out okay once you slot in the battery there you go your recovery mode so once you have your device in recovery mode we will move it on to the we will basically move on to the process of doing that voice doctor for these devices Okay, since we are now in the computer, so what we need to do now is to run the um, WebWise Doctor for these devices. Um, I will basically show you how to run one of them. And first of all, we need to have Java installed. So uh, once you have Java installed, you should just be double-clicking one of these WebWise Doctor files to actually do the web WebWise Doctor. What we need to do now is just to double-click on the WebWise Doctor itself. And this will basically do the. If you click on next, they will confirm English, accept. Yeah, 15 minutes to one hour and stuff. So you just click on next, and you'll be checking your system. And uh, some of them will ask you to install Novacom, but logically, Novacom driver should be already installed. So once you have that, you should have the next button. So as you can see now, the web button, uh, the next button is already uh, highlighted. I mean, means your phone is connected. So you just need to do a next, and it will start flashing the phone itself with the firmware. Then we just need to wait that out and see how it goes. Okay, if you look at it, this is how it looks like when the uh, system is flashing on the phone. The web voice doctor is running, so you just keep let it, let it run and things will be fine after this. Okay, so once the reset is completed, your phone should get booted up. So once your phone gets booted up, you should reach a stage where a screen where you can't actually go further. Uh, 
right? You need to activate it. So that is where the bypass activation comes in place. Let's move on to the screen for the next step. Okay, as you can see now, both phones are doctored. So if you look at it now, if you press on English, confirm English, then you can set the language. So now it's setting language. And you can see this one is basically check SIM, SOS only. And, um, and for, for the Palm Pixie itself, uh, you need to go through phone activation. Click next. So basically, they will do a call and stuff, but this, this too is the same. I mean, they, they need to activate the phone and stuff. So we have problems activating this. So what we need to do now is to bypass the activation screen. So what you need to do, the first thing you need to do for this one will, will be shutting off the machine, right? So just turn off the... For this one, the power button is here. So what you need to do is just to press on this one and just turn off the phone. So this is shut down now, so this is the phone, so we need to do now is to do it. Turn off, uh, turn off as well. And then just wait for it to shut down, right? So once we are done with the shutdown, we will need to boot the phone back to recovery mode for us to do the bypass activation. So that, let us move on to the next step. Okay, so once once the phone is in recovery mode, you connect the phone to your computer. So what you need to do now is to uh, you need to run the web OS version one dot x device two dot child. So what you need to do is just to press on CMD. So where we need to go now is to uh, this one. So you just copy this here and do a CD paste. So once you are here, so if you do a DRR slash the deal, you'll find that's the thing, right? So what you need to do is to run a Java minus jar web OS device two web OS B device two dot jar. So what you need to do now is just to press enter. You can see now it's ready. It's already done. So what we are doing now. Uh, we will move on to the next type of video to actually check the phone whether it's already bypassed and as well as to install uh, preware and stuff to make this phone usable. Okay, as you can see now, both phones is already been bypassed and um, if you take a look at the version number, now they are running on uh, the latest 1.1.4.5.1 Horizon. So this is this has the latest as well as the palm pre as well the the actual has the latest as well if you look at it now it's running on 1.4.5 so so this is the um, bypass once it's bypass now basically what we need to do is to uh, install uh, preware and stuff to make the phone usable so i'll basically show you some of the steps where you can do to do uh, to install preware as well as to make this device usable Okay, so once your phone connected to your to your computer, so what you need to do is make sure that you just click on just charge to ensure that you can actually do a, a pre connection so that you can detect the, the phone itself. So as you can take a look here, it's like this is WebOS quick install. So you detect the product as Palm Pixie Plus. So make sure you have an active internet connection. So okay, once once you have you have your internet connection ready, what you can do is just click on the globe icon, and they will basically connect to the uh, preware and all those uh, repositories that they need to actually down download all the linkages and stuff. So once you have that, you can actually look for preware. Then you can just install preware, right? So. Just install Preware into. They will basically download the app itself and install it into your phone. So this is for Palm Pixie. So once you have Preware, you can install all the other stuff like the uh, updates and, and like patches and, and some kernel things and all those stuff. 
So this can be done with the free as well. So um, you can close this device for now, and you can actually uh, and just remember one thing: just click on just charge. So once you have your phone connected, you can launch, click install again, and they will basically detect the palm pre as well. So you see, as you can see, palm pre is here. So we are doing the same process again. Okay, so the installation is done. So let's move on to the phone. Of course, once you have the <coughs> preware installed, as you can see, uh, this is your preware which is installed. So you can click on Preware, make sure you have Wi-Fi connected. Preware will get connected and you will be able to download some stuff and all those things, right? So they will basically check for stuff and, and download the feeds and all those things. So what you can do, they will basically show you the uh, compatible apps or compatible patches for this phone. So what can you do is just to download those that you need, right? I mean like your kernel stuff and all those things if you want to just to make the phone looks better but somehow rather like what I said at this time this year 2017 you wouldn't want to do anything much with this phone but it actually is quite good if you want it to be a, a backup phone so it's like there will be available packages and stuff you look at kernels they have like stable kernels there are three of them so uber kernel so normally what I use is uber kernel it depends on what you want to do so um, you can actually install Uber kernel if you want so so just install Uber kernel and they'll be downloading and installing the same thing goes to your Pixie Plus as well so that's how you download patches and, and stuff for this so that's all for the video today um, if you do own this kind of phone and it's not usable for you because it's not activated and stuff you can actually follow this the step in this video itself to do the bypass activation for your webOS phone and um, and uh, if you don't know where to get webOS doctor I do have some webOS doctor that I have for my phones where I'll leave a link down below that you can download so that's all for now um, in the next video I might actually do uh, not might I will actually do a video for uh, the same thing a webOS doctor and bypass activation but that is for webOS 2.0 devices like your pre plus uh, your pre-2 as well as your pre-3 and beer so all of them actually share the same uh, the same kind of like uh, format in order to do the bypass so that's all for today folks thanks for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe for any future updates and that's all for now bye